Good morning, good morning. It is very nearly almost afternoon and I didn't vlog at all while I was at church, sorry. But I am home now, sorry. I'm home now and I am working, but I'm going about work a little differently today. <laughs> I don't know why, but I can already tell that like my focus is kind of all over the place today. So to combat that, because as far as I'm seeing, today is not a super heavy news day at all. There's really, oh, Twinnie's out on the front porch. She must have just come down and sat down. I ran, I ran to pee quickly. I get the love. <laughs> she like, Twinnie loves to lay on the front porch. So that's super cute. Anyway, so it's not a heavy news day. There's not a lot happening right now. So what I'm doing, like I technically finished writing this post five minutes ago, but so it doesn't look like I did it in the actual like 15 minutes that I did it. I am going to wait until it gets to like the 30 minute mark, just so that if there is a post later on that takes me longer, it's not that anyone's like watching it that closely, but you know what I mean? It also gives me a little bit of extra time to like divert my focus quickly and like look through Instagram a little bit or check my email or like respond to an email. So like, I don't feel like I'm consistently, consistently doing work every single second. So Nola's tail is like, Nola, that's a friend. You're not trying to like, Oh my gosh. Did I mention too that I downloaded Duolingo yesterday and I am teaching my, I'm trying to teach myself French since we're going to France. Um, should I also be trying to teach myself Italian? Yes, but we will be in France for like four days and we will be in Italy for like a day and a half. So, um, pretty much. So anyway, that I decided, I also would like to brush up on my Spanish and sure enough, Duolingo just makes it really fun. I know it says like, it's designed to be like a game and it really is, like it's a lot of fun. Um, and you know, I'm just like literally learning the basics. I am a little afraid that I'm not going to be able to like retain any of it, even though the more lessons that I go on, the the more that I am, like I am genuinely learning the language, but it's just, I haven't tried to even learn a language since high school. And I'm like, I won't even count like junior or senior year because that was online school. So it was kind of different. So I won't count, like, until, I haven't tried to learn a language since sophomore year of high school. So granted, I've retained Spanish fairly well. I'm, like, very beginner Spanish, but, like, I can recognize some words here and there. But I think the biggest thing is I'll be able to read. I want to be able to read stuff and at least be able to understand what people are saying. Not necessarily try to speak it back to them, but to at least be able to understand what's being said. I swear to you. Oh my god. If this post did not autosave because I accidentally clicked out of it, I'm gonna be so freaking okay. mad. The table read is officially table read cast and call. It's officially posted everywhere. I kept getting distracted while I just I kept I don't know, I kept wanting to like because I'm hungry too, but I was like, no, you're so close, just finish it. So it's posted on Facebook on uh Backstage and Breakdown Express. Breakdown Express, it probably won't go up until maybe Tuesday because it, I've got to sign the whole thing. I don't even know if they'll let it go up because it's a virtual table read. I think they will. I don't really see why they wouldn't. Um, you know, I just don't know if they're like, oh, we don't like to do this. Anyway, um, but it is going up. It is, the submissions are coming in on Backstage. Backstage now has this thing, which I think is actually really cool, will they, where they will do a background check. They do a background check on everyone who submits a casting call. So I got a response back saying that my background check had cleared. And so they, Backstage's people are still reviewing the casting call itself, but I passed the background check. So it's up there for like immediate, that's just where they, they notify actors like, hey, you know, this person has passed the background check, but the project itself hasn't been reviewed. So like submit it your own will, like we'll see. So anyway, um, yes. 
so it is everywhere. I got about 20, which in it, people can still submit from my database, but up until now, I got about 26 people, um, which is great, but definitely, and I sent it out to like 350 people in my database, because it doesn't matter where you are. And that's the thing too on Backstage, is it's a nationwide release, because it doesn't matter where you are. It, it doesn't matter. Um, so, um, yeah. We shall see how that all goes. It is 8.57, so here's the plan for the tomorrow. The plan for tomorrow is to go to the gym in the morning, basically wake up, go to the gym. Um, ha ha ha, gym time. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I take, which should be fine, I plan on basically going to the gym with braids on my hair, and so then when I wash my hair there to like rinse off and whatever, I'll just put it back in braids. Um, so that way, it's, you know, my hair is wet, but it's in braids. So yes, I'm going to go to the gym, but I am going to bring all of those books that I got off my shelves. I'm going to put them in my car before I go, because after the gym, I'm going to head straight back down to the area I used to live in, back to the bookstore um, to drop all of those off. Just because I called my mom. I was like, do I really want to go back like that soon? But on Thursday, like I'll go to the gym after work and like, I don't know how late they're open. I don't want to drive down there during that traffic. And then Friday, I just, all that. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go tomorrow, whatever. And then on my way back, I might stop by a pizza place called Mellow Mushroom, which I love their pizza so much. Their crust is so good. So I was like, you know, maybe I'll grab myself that to eat over the next few days. So we'll see. Um, I also, totally off topic, but I took out two of the plums that I got because my mom was like, hey, putting them in the fridge I might actually try to eat this one. Yeah. She was like, putting them in the fridge may actually keep them from getting ripe. Because the last one I had, like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't sour. But it definitely wasn't fully ripe yet. This one is squinchy. So, I really want to eat one of them. This one isn't ready just yet. It probably will be by tomorrow. But good to know that keeping them in the fridge keeps them good for longer. So, anyway. Yes. Table read casting call is up. I had my friend Julia replied because I posted it to my Instagram and they were like yes oh my god yes and I was like well it's not I was like it's just table read like we're not you know there's no deal that's been made or anything like it will be made one way or another but this is just to hear it out loud and all that which I made sure that is very clear in the casting call it just says the purpose of the table read is to hear it out loud make some notes on it also to generate some buzz of hey the script is done oh my gosh like and then um to, you know, saying that, you know, actors cast in the table read are guaranteed an audition for the feature Already, Well, I am heading to bed. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.